Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to show you how to create a, an, an, an add files button for drop zone JS. Uh, so basically instead of only having the ability to drag and drop or to click and select, we'd also have a button down here to add files to our drop zone area. Uh, basically what prompted this question was here where Luca uh, was running into an issue with it on mobile and wanted to know exactly how to do that as well as how to make it to where that message uh, to drop files here doesn't disappear. Um, so I'd never done that before and figured it out and thought I would share it with you. So first let's go ahead and make a button. And you're gonna see that it is not as simple as this. You click add buttons, add files, nothing happens. Um, we can still click on our area. We can still drag and drop, but the button doesn't work. So what we actually need to do is go down here where we instantiate our drop zone and use the clickable property. And that accepts basically um, a, a, sele a selector. And we're going to basically give our button an ID of drop button, you know, just whatever, whatever you'd want it to be. Let's give it the ID, drop button. So now save refresh. We'll click on add files. You'll see that, hey, we get that prompt. We can click the picture and go and add another one. We can drag and drop. However, uh, we're not quite there because you'll see now that I can't click in the the drop zone element to add. So the only thing I found to remedy that is actually to, instead of giving the button an ID of drop button um, and defining the clickable down here is wrapping all that in a parent div uh, with like a, you know, its own. So let's do drop zone. Let's get rid of the ID on the button, but we still want it because we still want it to be there. You give a parent div with an ID of what I call that drop zone. And then we'll go down here, close out our div. And now uh, we can click, see, we still have that functionality. We click the button to add files and we can do our drag and drop. So all the above works. So I guess part one is done. It is as simple as just um, adding a, a parent div wrapping our form and our button, um, giving it an ID and then passing that through, or I guess declaring that in the clickable property uh, for our drop zone. Uh, part two that uh, Luca wanted to know is basically on, also on desktop, when a file is uploaded, the message is disappearing. Uh, I want to make them always visible. Basically, is there a specific option for that or am I forced to use CSS, the answer, as far as I could tell is yes, CSS. However, it's not that bad. So let's go ahead and uh, refresh, we'll open up the dev tools and we'll go ahead and find that uh, that element. It looks like it is a button with a parent of DZ, default DZ message. And when we drag and drop here, we'll notice that it sets to the display to none. So let's copy that selector and Unfortunately, uh, display none doesn't have uh, an inherently opposite uh, property that we can use, but we can just set it to block and we'll of course do important so that it's always visible. And so now when we go and add a picture, we'll see that that does not disappear. It stays as a display of block and we can click on add files and we can drag and drop. All right, so that should take care of it here. I hope that you guys found that helpful. Um, if you did, please comment down below and subscribe and uh, I will talk to you guys next time.